and gentlemen, hello and welcome back again to the Star Ladder I-League Star Series Season 3. We're going to be taking a look at game number three. As a matter of fact, it's Infamous facing off against SG Esports, the final game of the evening. We've been through it all. We did the CIS region earlier today, started at 8 a.m. and now it's 9 p.m. And we're continuing the action now with this final series. Um... And we saw some really good Dota, by and large. Take a look what happened earlier today in the South America region. Midas Ratings Club ended up losing to Lucini. This game has gone to the three-game set. As far as the CIS region, it's going to continue on uh, tomorrow after Vega Squadron beat Double Dimension. And M19 was able to take down... Or the Team Spirit was able to take down M19 2-1. Uh, tomorrow, the action's going to continue there again at 8 in the morning. Gambit Esports facing off against Navi. We've got Hakoke, Hakoche facing off against Empire. And then a little bit later on tonight, actually, Ten Southeast Asia Dota remaining. is going to continue, where it's going to be TNC Pro Team versus Boom Five ID, and then Fire remaining. Dragoon versus Fanatic. So there's a hell of a lot of Dota 2 that's going to continue to be played here in the Star Ladder I-League Season Radiant 3. Can't back. wait to watch it. Can't wait to cast it. And we're going to continue Dota on right back. here. So the team that has gotten Earthshaker so far in this series has won the game. Uh, Infamous Young were able to take it in game number one. We saw SG Esports get it in game number two, and they ran away with it as well. We'll see if that trend continues as Radiant Infamous Young team take it back. with the first phase pick overall. Wanted to apologize real quickly for the fact that we we're a little bit later getting into this game. Uh, there was a problem where the admin disappeared. Uh, nobody's really sure exactly what happened to him, if he's uh, still alive and kicking. We certainly hope that he is. Cross our fingers and our toes Ten for that. Remaining. But there uh, was no admin, so we had somebody else do it. And that's why this game is Five also not listed remaining. on the ticket. Um, so if you guys were hoping to watch this in-game... Uh, it might be a little bit difficult unless you're friends with one of the players. You might be able to find it also under the watch tab, uh, but it does sometimes cause some issues there as well. So, uh, in case you guys hadn't noticed by now, I'm going to be solo casting this game. Dire team. Uh, Dota, or rather Ryu, had to head out and do something. I'm not exactly sure what, but he will be back again tomorrow. I think it was mainly just because there were so many delays going on with this series, multiple pauses, and... He just wasn't able to finish off the last set. So he is going to head to off, and I will see him again tomorrow. Um, as I mentioned already, I'll be casting with Aosin Five in the morning in the CIS remaining. region. And tonight, I think it's going to be Zyklops again on the Southeast Asian Dota. But there's just so much freaking Dota. Like, honestly, it's ridiculous. There is going to be... Uh, games going on pretty much every day when these games that I, I was casting the cis games and when those were happening some of these same teams were playing south american qualifiers in the morning and then they have to play south american qualifiers in the evening it's just like this is what happens everybody said that it was going to go on and it's actually going on so enigma going to be taken for sg esports uh since we are not on the ticket i don't know if these are which of these players are on which uh, teams, seconds, or rather, which of these players are on their Smurfs or whatever, what have you? Uh, I'm imagining that four anger is four RD probably, um, but we've seen SG Esports with the Enigma. It was Tavo that was playing it at the Kiev Major that made all of the waves, and everybody was in love with the Tavo offlane Enigma. I don't know if that's something that SG Esports are going to try and bring back here and now. Um, they've looked pretty good by and large. I've been impressed with their play. But it does pose a couple of issues. It's great Ten for high ground defense, remaining. but it's not great necessarily at split pushing, or rather remaining. pushing out waves without putting yourself at danger. Like Eidolons can push waves, but uh, particularly if you're like constantly getting shoved in by Nature's Prophet, it might not be the best. So this could be tough. Um, it's going to be an Earthshaker for pickoffs, a Jakiro for pressuring lanes. I imagine these teams Radiant are quite tired team and just want to move on to the next one, which is why we're seeing a little bit of different picks around this time than we had in the last couple sets of games. So Bloodseeker taken. Another one of those fight early, get up in their face and party heroes. 10 seconds remaining. Um, Five seconds remaining. I think also that depending upon the matchup that they have, the infamous need a way to deal with Enigma BKB Black Hole. 
Silencer's already been banned out, obviously. That's one of the best answers to it. Other ones that come to mind, like Batrider isn't really that great. Um, trying to think what else goes well against him. Sniper is pretty decent. Uh, Warlock is another opportunity there. Uh, you could do something like take a Ricky and try and um, like just shut down his... I guess he's not going to be jungling, though. I mean, as it stands, Nature's Prophet's not bad against the Enigma. You just sort of split push and don't take big five-on-five -five team fights. The other option is go something like a Drow Stride at this stage for Infamous and try and pressure before they can really come online with the BKB Black Hole. And then, at most, he would have... Like, if you went Sniper... If you went, like, Sniper... Um... I don't know, something back. else. Drow. Man stands great. I really don't know about that one. Whoa. Okay. Uh, armor to try and see high ground to, to make sure that your creeps are nice, nice and buffy, but he, he takes a ton of damage from Midnight Pulse. Ten and seconds what, what other reason would they have? Radiant team Maybe they're going to go for like a Dark Sea or Last Pick or something, but then that means that you've got an Nature's Prophet in like a mid roll or something. No, I, I don't know what, what the thought is here behind the Sven. Well. 10 seconds remaining. We will see. I think the big Five worry that you have here remaining. for Infus Young is that if they have enough beginning initiation with SG Sports, something like a Clockwork Hook in or, you know, uh, the Bloodseeker rupture and then uh, blood right on top of him. If Sven comes in, there's just such an easy counter initiation with Enigma Black Hole. <coughs> Excuse me. Not to mention that the Radiant fact that late game pick. rupture just owns Sven. I, I feel like this play by Infamous here is saying, we want to push early. We want to end the game. And maybe Sven is what allows them to do that. Ten seconds remaining. The, like, natural Five pick could have been, remaining. back in the past, the Lich to go against the Enigma for and immediately taking out that black hole, but no longer a possibility Dire team pick. since it doesn't mini-stun anymore. Storm spirit! We're gonna take the storm. All right, uh, you know what it is that Infamous want to do. Move around the map with the Nature's Prophet, find pick-offs, Storm Spirit finishes them off, and then you take high ground. The combo of Jakiro and Nature's remaining. Prophet. Just make it happen. Five seconds and remaining. Play around the black hole whenever possible. Ember Spirit. Ember Spirit is the last pick. A nice route there for the Storm Spirit. A decent lane matchup against him as well. Uh, you do run into some issues depending upon the skill build. You can break through the Flame Guard. Um, I don't remember if it has to do with the Remnant, if you max Remnant or if you max Overload. But one of those you max and it ends up breaking Flame Guard. We'll do a quick little bit of mental math when we get in there to see which one it would take to break through it. But I remember that this was a, a pretty substantial counter uh, at a certain point where Ember ran, runs into issues uh, in the earliest earlier games against Storm. The flip side, though, is that was before Root disabled Ball Lightning. So that kind of changes things. Five and now remaining. you've got a long-range initiation onto Storm where he's going to need to possibly build into some defensive items. And Yule Scepter doesn't really save him that much either. <clears throat> because if you Yule Scepter, it's still going to be you disabled for however many seconds, and then Enigma can jump on top of you and black hole your Yule Scepter, and you're not going to be able to get out of that. So <sighs> We will see how this goes. Game number three on the line. Infamous Young facing off against SG Esports. Who's going to be the one that comes away with the win here? Just make sure that I'm not missing anything up here. 
Looks like we should be pretty good. Tower showdown. Looks like Radiant have it in the lockdown. Oh, and the wonderful, wonderful pause. Sorry, says Ember. I am not going to be okay with that. Because there isn't an admin in this one, I am kind of worried that uh, there might be a lot of pauses. That would be horrendous. That would just be the worst thing in the world. We got the beaver courier again. Look at this guy. This cute little guy chugging along there. The wood chopper. What on the dire team? What's their courier looking like? Oh, is that their courier? They're all dead! That's not their courier. They have this guy. What's his name again? Hermes the Hermit Crab with the Octarine Core upgrades. You love to see that. Oh, right. I was going to do the math now. So let's see. Um, for the Storm Spirit, his damage 140 and then ends up going by increments of 20. So you end up getting uh, 180 damage magical. Now the Flame Guard at level 2 absorbs 200. So if you're even on levels, it's going to not break through all the way. But at level 3... You can upgrade this to 180 damage, and then you end up going to 220. So that means that Ember will get up to, at level 3, not enough. So yeah, Flame Guard, um, if you max out Remnant, it will break through it. That's the difference. 60 here. You, you want to get two points in Remnant. That's basically what it comes down to. Patience from Because let's say that you end up going for the 102 build. Overlord's not going to be enough to break that, uh, break the flame guard. But if you end up going the other way, then it will. It'll be 20 damage over, and then it'll be enough. So as long as you hit him with one static remnant at level two, and then afterwards go back for uh, one of the right clicks from the overload proc, it'll be enough. I don't, I don't know what's happening. <laughs> Oh, God. It's all falling apart. I'm going to attempt to keep my sanity in this game, everybody. It's going to be a, a hard test. You know what else we could look at, though? What about at level 3? What happens there? Level 3 Flame Guard. Oh, my God. Magic Absorb 350 damage. Are you kidding me? 350 damage at level 5, which means that you could go up to 220 plus another 60. And suddenly, you no longer can break through the flame guard. That is insane. So at level 5, Ember Spirit can tank the damage. We learned something here today, everybody. As a, as a, as a general... Uh, you know, collection. Oh, look at this. One of them's got the Dota thing. I've Sky. I-Y Sky. G. G. I am totally going to kick Ryu in the butt next time I see him. For leaving me on this one. <laughs> Storm Spirit reconnected. Thank goodness for that. Get on in here, buddy. We're ready to see you. Robo Z. You know, actually, I, I'm not the biggest fan of the Storm Spirit set. I gotta say, I, I don't like the hat, and I'm not a big fan of the chest piece, but I do like the rose in the mouth. You take that one, and then you end up going with a different set instead, usually. I feel like that's the best play for the set. Any other cool sets that we can talk about here? About Mr. Clockwork. Yeah, nothing special there, really. Lion looks like a baller. Look at him. This is terrifying. He's got... This actually looks like the Stark Sigil from Game of Thrones. On his arm. It's weird, because he's not a dire wolf. He's a lion. That's not supposed to be the way it is. Enigma. Always without sets. But he did get the remodel, so that's something. We got Ember Spirit. Looking like a cool kid as well. 
He's got kind of a beard going on, maybe a little bit of a goatee type thing. It sort of extends over his cheeks, which is not something that you would normally see. Our offlane player picked Ember. End. <laughs> All right, cool. I don't know what's going on. I think everybody's had a little bit of a long day here. ETA. What you got? Wu wants to play some Dota. He's had enough of your shenanigans. They're not giving him an ETA. It's the long range tilt tactics. Let's see what chat has to say. Oh yeah, what happened to Weha cancel tomato team? I think it's still a thing. Overlord, we SC2 now. You require more overlords. Uh, did they qualify for any qualifier? <laughs> I don't think so. Not yet. Um, sausage prices are low. That's good to know, Monkey. Lyrical, please read my worthless comment. Okay, Gillerton, we got it. We're on it. Wait half hour for pause, resident sleeper. All right, fair enough. F this, says J.O. Sneaky. Well, that's okay. They invited to PGL qualifier, right? Question mark. Yes, they are. They're all dead. I think he, they're they're not sure if he means ETA or ETA. Like ETA JJ. Uh, STF is Illidan's team. Come on, it's 6 a.m. here. Let's get this on the road. I want to see some black hole. Me too, Ozzy Meat Pie. Me too. He went to the bathroom and didn't come back yet. Could you really not go to the bathroom? During the half hour pause that we did not have a lobby up? <laughs> My god, indeed. Well, what else we got? No, Tomato says wow. safe lane. Cancel is taking mid, at least wow. now. Oh, is he? Okay then. They've been invited to Star Ladder, not PGL though. Uh, never mind. Just check. They did get invites. Sorry. Nice pauses, South Africa, and then not a nice word. It's not very nice. I'm gonna ban you for a second, buddy. You're you're gonna you're gonna have to take a one minute timeout. There you go. You're out of there. Mooning Lel. Tomato is safely in Weha's stack. Well, there's not really a whole lot else that we can talk about here. The unfortunate situation is that we uh, don't really have an admin and we don't really uh, have a ticket that is keeping their eye on this. So we're just kind of at the mercy of the player. And we'll see what ends up happening. The plus side is that uh, it's 920 and hopefully the game goes quickly. I don't know. Maybe not. I'm actually okay. How long? Frustrated face. Destroy the tower, then get back, says Vittoria. Want to give more insight? It's not wrong for... Okay, that's no. See, come on, get them to play. I want black holes. Me too. The absolute madman. According to their OQ, their stack has name mid or feed. That makes sense, because I think there are four mid players that are there. Whoa. Caster, PogChamp. Making pause is fun. PogChamp. I don't know if I'd go that far. That's not the way you want to go. They almost quit because of him. Read mine. Aya Banana. Aya Banana. 44. The rest SA plays League XD. Still more entertaining than a league tournament. Lol Kappa. Matthew made a post about it. Are you casting PGL? I don't think so. At least the qualifiers because they go on the same time as uh, the rest of it. There's some angry Earthshakers in this place. <laughs> it's so fitting because he's actually playing Earthshaker. Uh, it's known that South Americans have the weakest bladders of all people. I don't think that's correct. That's actually empirically false. Um, I've only seen the horrible King Tekka post I could barely read. Needs to become a chat wheel. Lamau, disqualify, please. Uh... I'm laughing my ass off at the moment. I'm glad. I'm very glad that I'm providing you some form of entertainment. He could die in the bath. 
That would be really sad. Monkas. Wonderful. Say my comment on air, please. Monkey. Will do. Ban hammer indeed. Matthew is not much better. It's enough to tell you want to quit. Wrecked. Yo, Lyrical, you're doing great. Thank you. I appreciate it. Are you casting the PGO qualifiers? I don't believe I will. Should we send help to the bathroom? Okay. We good? Hey, we got the game. It's happening. Lordy, lordy. It's going on. <laughs> He's saying, go question mark? Yeah, that's, 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 they, they want us to play the game. <laughs> You know, this becomes like its own little metagame within itself, right? It's a game to see how much you can tilt the opponent while still simultaneously not getting a disqualification. It's a pretty high-level strat. All right, let me give an update to everybody in chat. We are live again. Wait for the delay to catch up, buddies. Baby rage, indeed. Actually, it's just a regular crybaby. They're all dead! Indeed. All right, well, Nada, he's been moving out across the map here. Gets his little trance to scout out the... Very frustrating to play against Bloodseeker, Vittoria. Played the lion, I believe, in the last game and was able to get a chicken snipe against the Shadow Fiend that made so many of the problems even more accentuated in that last one. They do spot out that there was a ward placed by Victoria that will probably be dewarded in just a few here. I do have a Sentry Ward seen on the Earthshaker, and giving that last hit away to the Storm Spirit would be quite nice. Being said, uh, what, what is happening? What is going on? Who are they giving it to? The battle begins. All right, they're just gonna give it to the Nature's Prophet instead. So it's gonna be Storm Spirit getting. Oh, <laughs> just one punch and walk away. That's how you tilt somebody. All right, Storm Spirit will be able to get there into lane. Enigma denied not a uh, creep from the mid lane. Instead, he denied a creep from his own lane. So apparently, he's a little bit upset at the uh, the Ember Spirit. Well, it's going to be kind of a tough lane. We already talked about the intricacies of the Static Remnant combo together with the Flame Guard. Where you need to make sure that you dodge away from the hit of it. Time the rotation comes up, they do end up again getting the courier snipe. Vittoria on the line, they saw him there the entire time, and it doesn't end up mattering. So that is going to be nothing on it, actually. But still, some gold given to the rest of the dire team, and he's just gonna keep on swaggering around the map, happy as a clam. Little lion. In the meantime, though, Nada taking some damage, they force the TP away. That's going to be back to base. Does not get level 2, so he's not going to be able to go for the TP back into lane. Might have been able to just walk that one out, but doesn't want to play with fire there. He ended up getting burnt. And instead, it's going to be Jakiro. Wants to deal with this clockwork. As Vittoria just continues to dance the night away. So that takes off the Flame Guard again, like we are talking about. Four Anger. Love to be able to see us with this, but he is already 10 and two versus eight and one on that storm. And unfortunately, won't be able to get any more of those denies. Jakiro and he's just Prophet pressuring it out. This will mean that it's the Clockwork who gets the free bounty rune. And on the other side, it's going to be Enigma who steals one, walks back to lane and gets the other. And, oh, apparently you actually can do it with the Overload. So all that talking that I was doing earlier about how to, you know, perfectly build the Storm Spirits, that way you break the Flame Guard, doesn't end up mattering. Uh, they won't be able to do, I don't think, a kill here with the Nigma coming in, though. Actually, they are going to be able to. I thought he was going to be able to live through that, but no Fairy Fire. And in first fact, blood. first blood drawn by the Clockwork. Well played indeed. Shows me what I know. Bottom lane, Sven has two points in cleave already, so he's gonna constantly pressure this lane out against the Enigma. And a rotation in, where did that just profit go? He is actually coming behind enemy lines. Wanted to go for a courier snipe, I believe, but now he's in between a rock and a hard place and nada getting nada. 
taking the damage as well now. Nobody there to help him out of this one. Maybe he can go for some body blocks with the trees. Yeah, it looks like he will be able to just walk this one off here. And actually, it's going to be the Ember missing a little bit of CS in lane there. So... Four levels on the Storm Spirit. Lion, as well as the Clockwork in the area. They get the Deny on the Creep again. Very frustrating that you have to end up getting all that mana drained away from Nada. But we'll pop his Clarity now. And we'll see how this ends up going with this lane against Bloodseeker. You can just keep farming and get regen up as well. Clockwork's going to... Take himself out to the neutrals. Um, it's still a very long respawn Dyer's time doing bottom that. Tower is under attack. Not sure if it was completely worth it that time around. Meanwhile, the pull in towards the lane. They shield. will not be able to pull any creeps over. Nada also had his clarity broken just a second ago, but a haste turn here for Storm has the potential to make something happen, uh, particularly if he runs into this lion. And it's going to be the Ember realizing he can't find his rune. And it is taken not only the main one, but also the other by the Earthshaker. So Earthshaker constantly causing trouble. And this is what we've been seeing more often from Earthshakers. Move around the map. Get yourself in a good position to steal a bounty rune. And then just annoy the living heck out of everybody else. Felt like you're talking about three points up in the Flame Guard means they don't break it now. You know, bottom lane, haha, able to push back. Sven, he's still only level four. In comparison to the Bloodseeker, who's getting closer to five. Still not quite there. Is this wraparound gonna work though? Uh, Earthshaker runs into Lion, but now they recognize that they're both in the area. The Hex comes out. Aha, does have Midnight Pulse available. Throwing it out a little bit late on this time, but now that the Nature's Prophet's showing up, that should be the death of both of them. Sven walking away from that. He is going to end up being brought down by the clockwork. And now Nina Boya trying to make something happen here. They are doing a good bit of damage there. And Earthshaker is forced to run away. Although, look at all of these trees just beating away poor Victoria. And Earthshaker moving in for the finish. Connects right there. On the Lion, ending his life. They are going to Cogs block there, but it might end up being the death of the clockwork if he is not careful. The pushback by the Cogs, though, and now, haha. -ha, Goes back up. Find the kill. So a lot of action down here in the bottom lane. The final tally ends up being SGE Sports ahead. Around 2,000 net worth. That's very volatile at this stage of the game, though. Have to be pretty careful. And I'll also get the side pull off here. The Blood Seeker. Meanwhile, mid lane. Oh god, Storm Spirit able to dodge away just barely from that double or triple remnant that came forward from the Ember. Well played by Robo Z to stay alive there. Once that level six comes online, Ember can just be so fatal. Just a little bit off the mark with this timing of those chains into remnant. But you know, looking at this, five minutes in, or rather, almost seven minutes in, Storm Spirit's been farming like a champ. It did end up running into some issues there. Now they're going to be able to also find the Sven. Not enough damage yet. They push back again with the Cogs, which means there isn't going to be a follow-up stun here. He does have Treads as well as Wand, and so he's going to be able to turn this back around and find it now onto that Enigma. Gets the kill. Big one right there for the Earth Spirit. Or Shaker. And Nana will summon some Trance. They're going to push the tower. And Victoria will try his best to pull the creep wave past. Might still want to run into issues. And Nana again gets some clarity broken. In the meantime, the wraparound comes. Dealing some damage to Robo Z here. He's going to go for the quick remnant away. Bottom lane, where the action's a brewing. Ha ha, he has Black Hole, but they're not going to be able to catch him. Equilibrium still going to drop. And. Oh, the Bloodseeker barely going to walk away from that one. Enigma disconnects from the game. I don't know what that one was about. Okay. Seven minutes and 
45 seconds into this. Take a look at the net worths. Ember and Bloodseeker on top with very close behind Storm Spirit, as well as a Sven. Enigma's a little bit ahead of where the Earthshaker is, and that's really the big storyline, is how much the Earthshaker has been able to get in comparison to how much this Nature's Prophet's been able to accomplish. So, speaking of which, he actually is dead. Do they have any way to catch him out there? The Nature's Prophet does have TP in two seconds, but I'm not sure if he's actually had his mana drained yet from the cogs. He should, should, should still have enough, right? Yeah, it only ends up draining 80, so he'll have enough for TP afterwards. I should probably update uh, what each of these teams are. Let me see if I can find a little thing for you. Images. Because since it's not a ticketed match, uh, it does mean that... Oh, it's not working. Oh, man. They actually ended up being able to kill him off. Never refuse good given. Hmm. My computer is doing strange things. The seeds of fortune. There we go. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. Uh, Radiant structures are fortified. Money changes hands. So meanwhile, over Dyer's here towards the mid, there's a bit of a group up now, and it looks like they're trying to put themselves in a position to smoke gank and find a kill. Might be a little bit tough. See if they'll be able to make it happen. Dyer's top tower is under attack. They will run into the spin here, and yeah, that's going to be a quick remnant forward. Not able to dodge away from it. They don't have mana for the stun as of yet either. So Sven again going to be caught and killed. Mid lane, maybe something could be a Bruin there, but unfortunately they show up again with the lion and. A lot of damage coming out right now. They don't have a blood right though. They turn to fight. Wants to take this battle even further forward. Ends up taking down the line and now turning onto that blood seeker as well. He's under tower right now. Robo Z is crazy as all hell. But he was able to find one before he went down and now not a showing up as well as forced to TP away. Is he going to be able to get out of there? Does not have enough damage on the blood seeker. So they won't find that kill. Now Ember showing up in the top lane. Been able to find himself a Jakiro, but the stun comes out. Does not quite dodge it in time. Tries to remnant forward, but is just going to remnant away. Didn't manage to land that kill as he got out. Middle tower is under attack. All right, let me see if I can help you guys out with the names of these teams now. Let me just make sure I'm on the right one. I think that this is correct. Um, yeah, let's add this on to here. Bum -ba -da -bum. Open. Illusion. Dyer's middle tower is under there you attack. Go. That's one. And Radiance top tower is under attack. Bum -ba -da -bum. Where is that? Just want to give you guys the highest quality Dota 2 cast and experience that your minds can handle. Yes. There we go. Oh, yeah. That's the one. All right. We're on it. You guys now know who's playing on what teams. All right. Bottom lane. Victoria has been able to hit up level six now. And this is a very scary situation for everybody on the Radiant team, to be honest. I mean, one quick hit right there with a the hex and then into a finger of death and Storm Spirit goes down. Uh, honestly, Sven wouldn't be long for this world either, even though he's at around 1200 HP. It's just so much burst damage that comes out. And it looks like the rotation is gonna be I'm here towards Dyer's Nada, but actually make attack. this play. The rupture, it shouldn't be too hard. 
Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Hmm. Doesn't look like they want to go for it. Playing things a little bit safer. Dyer's middle tower. If Nada is keeps under moving forward here, scanning. though, he's definitely going to get caught out. Dyer are scanning. Oh, found him. All right, Nada's now in trouble. That's uh, don't get blocked by the hooks. Yeah, that's uh, that's a kill. He probably didn't need to use hook shot right there. Could have saved it for the next fight. That's a pretty long cooldown to use. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. In the meantime, Earthshaker just stacking Dyer's up ancients knows that that's going to be Sven's eventual piggy bank. Now that Dyer's he's finished off Mask of Madness, he's actually going to go back for the Echo Saber next. And the rarely seen Nature's Prophet going for the Tome of Knowledge because he is almost the lowest level in the game. Now, by and large, this is a, a tough match for them right here. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Clockwork <laughs> just walks by. Players <laughs> here. Now, so Robo's been able to find the Ember. The root comes out though, and that's going to be tough for them to actually blow up anybody. They do decide to go back in here now though. Earn charge coming from the clock. They spot out the storm again. If you're radiant right now, you might need, you need to feel a little bit worried about what could be coming your way. It's just a show that right now the Dyer have no respect for the radiant at all. Hookshot connects over to the side, been able to find himself a nature's prophet and trying to push him out of the cog. It's just not happening. Nada is dead. They're just getting Nada in this game. Meanwhile, they can possibly find a kill here onto the line. It's just not going down, though. And Haha shows up. He has the black hole available. Connects it onto two. They've already used the ice path. And so they are going to lose everybody. SG Esports just crumbling at this late stage. And Jakiro, take a moment to think about things. Figure out exactly what's going on. Holy crap. Oh, opposite side. <laughs> All right. This is why we don't do this. Normally, we have some form of ticket going. Okay. There we go. Oh, lordy. Lordy, lordy, lordy. Nada shows up, tries to get this split push going. See if they can finish off this tower before things go terribly wrong. And they are not going to be able to take down the tower, it looks like. Unfortunate there. Instead, it's going to be the deny by SG. You know, I thought you'd think I'd know that this is SG since the same as SG. Does the file, but you know, it's fine. It happens. <laughs> oh lordy. Alright, Blink Dagger is done for Earthshaker. Maybe the saving grace for this lineup, considering that it's been kind of a rough go of it for the rest of them. A big smoke gank here could end up making the difference. They're behind the Sven. I'm gonna try and set up onto him. The veil is there for the Ember as well, and it's just going to be to take down the Ancients. Dyer's middle tower has been denied. Quick and easy influx of gold for that Sven. They have their eyes forward now onto that Ember Spirit. If they're able to catch him, they jump forward. Actually, a little bit late on it, but they're still able to find the kill. The big impale comes out and the remnant away. Lion saving the day. Making it all happen. Dreams come true. And now the Enigma jumps in as well. The stun, they actually push them out of the cogs to follow it up. Ice path down as well. That's going to be a dead storm spirit. From bad to worse to terrible. And now the poor big bad Sven ain't looking so tough. As he's going to get bumped on out. Killed off. SG. Fighting back strong. My god. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Man, Lion has done so much this game. 
I don't know if it's just his familiarity with the hero. Like, the thing about this that's so impressive to me is that Lion obviously doesn't have a heck of a lot of farm on him right now, so he's had to just be in the right position. That's like forward thinking, know where the team needs him to be to make those big plays, because you don't have the mobility to get there in time without the Blink Dagger. So, very impressed with his play. Good stuff. Stupendous! Well, in the meantime, Ember continues to farm and is building towards the Lincoln Sphere, and unfortunately, their sights are set now on Robo Z up in the top lane. He is going to remnant out of there before he ends up getting caught. Good recognition as he saw them move over by virtue of that Observer Ward. In the meantime, though, Clockwork just continuing to be a menace, soaking up levels and getting experience. Just feasting on these juicy supports. And now he's going to be even further onto the Sven, who's going to get pushed back in here now. The rest of SG Esports converging another ice path to try and break it up, but it doesn't matter. The Remnant Ford, they caught themselves a storm. He's almost out of mana. The Hex came out as well. Robo Z is going to be able to back out of there. But just the, the speed with which this team comes back in and starts to deal out the damage, it is hard to deal with. The plus Radiant's side for the Radiant is that Sven is still attack. quite farmed. And he doesn't take a lot to really start to take over a game. The problem is still going to be the Enigma, who's level 14 now, has a Midas and Blink, and is building towards potentially a BKB, or just, if he wants to, he could go for Guardian Greaves. Clockwork not going to find Boom, that go. Nature's Prophet. But still, putting the fear in him. Forces NP to TP away. Inupola. Making sure that this... Ooh, maybe Enigma? Fissure? Jump forward? Echo Slam drop down. Good amount of extra damage. Trying to find that kill. Is going to deal it out. And haha, -ha, falls yet again. Well done there by them. Five to 18, a 7,000 net worth lead and continued harassment by this clockwork. Level 10 now gets the plus four armor. So even if they did manage to possibly track him down, he's even more tanky and hard to bring down. And this just leaves more space open for this Ember Spirit who now has bots on top of everything else. If he wants to go pick it up, he can get that first component of the Lincoln Sphere as well, which is going to happen now. Radiance Bloodseeker on the way by SG Esports. You have a Bloodstone done for the Storm Spirit, and I can't count on my top of my head how many times we've seen a game turn around rapidly when you get one of those items. It could start to snowball off of a bunch of pickoffs, and it looks like that might be the goal right now. Moving forward, been able to find themselves a Bloodseeker. The jump in from far away. Stun comes out as well. Quick pickup before that Radiance. But now Storm maybe in a little bit of trouble. They walk forward, have the Black Hole. They need to use it. He's going to try and get out of there, but it's not enough mana. Not enough life. Does not get the deny. And down to eight Bloodstone charges. In the meantime, Sven, he knew that he was going to end up going down there. If they want to, they have the Black Hole. But the Finger of Death might be enough. And now Enigma looking for an opening there. He does have a Blink Dagger available. If they can chase this out, if they can find him in time. Nada going to be caught. Not a chance of him getting out of this one. Storm Spirit jumps back in, but they have that Black Hole available. Looking for that opening. Trying to find him. And Enigma just patiently waiting. Another Malefice out. They drop the Black Hole. Connects onto two. Affirmative indeed. Just disaster to unmitigated disaster coming out for the Radiant team right now. And Infamous can only look on in dismay. Nino Poya wants to go for a big counterplay here. He does have Echo Slam in seven seconds, but I'm not sure if it's going to be enough. Another Shadow Blade walking out of there. Shakiro is going to take a sec to think about the life choices of his teammates. 
Ember came back in with the dust after the Remnant away, and unfortunately, Nino Pollo didn't have Echo Slam back up for one more second. Maybe they can bait this out and try and go for a, like an extended wraparound. The plus side for this is that the Dire do not see the Earthshaker. Victoria, does he spot him? He has his Blink Dagger. Earthshaker still looking. They find him right there. And there's the Hex. Now Earthshaker 2 is going to be contained and dealt with. A monster kill streak for the Ember. SG just walking all over him. Radiant's top tower is under attack. Don't give up, says Nada, trying to be that inspirational force for his team. The seeds of fortune. Let's have Drum Shadow Blade Radiant's phase. Sven has been able to build his way Radiant's in towards the Mask of Madness Echo fortified. Saber, but I think that maybe one or two of his camps might have ended up getting taken out. <laughs> Discord issues. Well, hopefully they can solve their woes. I'm sorry. He's got his blink dagger. He's a champ. We'll have finger of death back up in just a few. And with the blink dagger done, five blood sun charges on the storm. It seems unlikely that SG are going to really stop the ball rolling anytime soon. <sighs> that being said, we do have the Radiance Recipe as well as the Tome of Knowledge coming out for Mr. Bloodseeker. He is quite tanky. Rather, uh, quite high damage output. Not really that tanky, actually. Well, 1600 HP. It's also got that 225 health talent. It's actually so good at level 10. I feel like that Bloodseeker talent might get nerfed. I don't want to try and talk too much about the patch because we're still, uh, you know, in whatever patch we're in right now. But there's a chance that well, these might end up switching up in the near future. How about the rest of this Radiant team? What are they looking towards? Storm Spirit, Orchid eventually. You've got the Midas on Enigma that we already talked about. He has that cooldown reduction talent that's so freaking good. Talk to a lot of different people, and top players always say that that cooldown reduction is, like, the best talent that he has. Some people like to go for the GPM, but you max out on that before too long. Whereas on taking the cooldown reduction, it increases the levels that you gain, and then also... Um, just because your Midas is off cooldown more often, then also Black Hole late game and more cooldown. Well, it's been about two minutes... So we probably will be seeing people come back in very shortly. More often than not, that's how that stuff ends up working. Sven, in the meantime, has his whole item selection and life laid out in front of him. Blink BKB. Hero. That is sad. Look at him. He ain't got nothing. This was the same problem that they had, <laughs> they had before. <laughs> Hola, jugamos Dota. I'm down. Let's do it, guys. I believe in the thing called Dota. I do sometimes wish that uh, we had the chat wheel for commentators. I guess that we are the chat wheel for commentators. That's a deep thought. 
That's amazing. He knows the next patch. Kappa. Kenneth Badger. I promise you I do not. Lyrical with the inside knowledge bombs. The inside knowledge bomb that there might be a patch coming up. Some deep knowledge. I don't want to use Resident Sleeper because I'm too used to Bulldog now. I don't know if I've actually ever uh, watched a, a Bulldog stream, to be honest. All right, 21 yeah. minutes in, 6 to 24, and the game is back on. Remember, everybody, you just got to pause enough to tilt the team so you win, but not enough that you tilt the admin so you get DQ'd. That's the, that's the key here. <laughs> Enigma agrees. That's my co-caster. Okay. Meanwhile, five Bloodstone charges on the Storm Spirit. Radiant Earthshaker Shaker trying to wait if he can get into another item for himself. The four staffs can make all the difference in the world. The scary part that I'm seeing now is Manigma has picked up the, the BKB for himself. Oh my god, is Nada gonna get solo killed here in a little bit? I honestly would not be too surprised if Lion could end up solo killing him. Well, in the meantime, Ember Spirit level 16 picks up a DD. They're ready to party. As the smoke comes out, the movement towards top lane. I don't think they're gonna be able to find the Storm Spirit yet. Instead, they're gonna set their sights here towards mid, see if they can find themselves an opening on the Sven. There's a rocket flare that goes out. They're not gonna be able to catch him. Good heads up play right here. The Radiant recognizing where the rotations are gonna come from and they are not getting caught out. As I say that, they're getting caught out. <laughs> That's gonna be a threat. Dropping dead. Finger of death to finish. And now mid lane. Game pressure as well. Malphus there. Shakiro super dead. Does have a TP, but just walk sort of near him and then they. Jakiro ends up dying. Nod is going to split push along the bottom lane. Meanwhile, top lane being pressured in by Robo Z and the Earthshaker. If I was dire right now, I'd probably go in to see if they could find themselves an opening on one of these guys. But it's actually going to be Nada TPing up top. The problem I'm seeing is that this is not a defense of their mid tower, but if they can get any trades at all at this point in the game, things are looking a little bit better for them. Radiant. Dyer's top tower is under Lion shows up. They don't have vision of this. They're not going to see him. Scary things of Bruin, and they have been able to catch onto one, but not quite there. Hex is available. Earthshaker, all right, making the plays. He's getting out of there, but the hook shot comes in in the end. That's going to be enough to find the kill. Okay. Level 15 on the Sven, he gets the plus eight to all stats. Surely this will turn the game around. A regen rune to boot for that Ember. Just everything you could possibly want. Oh, SG Esports gonna go for the full tilt mode here and take the Manta Radiance Bloodseeker. <laughs> Not a, he's, he's going in baby steps with his teleport. I mean, it looks funny, like teleporting from this side of the river to that side of the river, but honestly, it's what you have to do in this game. You just have to play like the ultimate in, you know, rat it out, try and stay away. He cuts the creep wave with the Treants and then the might even have to go for like an ulti to try and kill them all off. But now the Eidolons are there and less likely to be able to do something. Here we go. Big play up top of the lion already in position. Look at this. They're so ready. They are so ready. And Lion jumps forward, finds himself an Earthshaker. They have that hex. They have the stun. 
godlike streak as well. They want a kill so desperately on this lion, but it's going to come at a big old cost now because they have the chains onto two, trying to TP away. What you going to do? He gets out. But at the end of the day, they find multiple kills across the map. It was a big one coming out, though. The Sven was able to take down that clockwork. That is a really, really bad sign, though, when a spend kill on a clockwork gets you 900 gold. That is quite bad. <laughs> you are far behind when that is the case. My god. 15,000 net worth lead. It could all come crashing down with a few nice kills, but it seems unlikely. And they're even leaving the everything for the Stormstrip. They just know that it all relies upon him. But bottom lane, they found themselves a Sven. And unfortunately, this is a much bigger problem than Radiant would like it to be. Lincoln Sphere done. <laughs> Finger of death used. Lion. A monster. And all they can do at this point is split push and go for pickoffs. So, 8 to 31. Like I was saying, that 15,000 net worth leave. And SG Esports is continuing the walloping that they're putting to the infamous youth squad. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Radiant's structures are fortified. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. They've been able to find a kill up top. Embers alone? It's a tough one. In the meantime, they're able to kill off the Jakiro Radiant's with the clockwork, but it looks like they're not fallen. going for this. Yeah, this is it's just too much. Well, Nada is pushing, or rather taking down Ancients. Enigma is getting close Radiant to his Octarine. Currently the, the highest net worth hero in the game. And meanwhile, Bloodseeker just keeps on farming. He's going into a Scotty. He doesn't give a damn. Affirmative. Thank you, Nigma. I appreciate that. Shakiro goes to check to see if Roshan is up and being taken. Immediately runs away as quick as he can. He's like, get me out of here. I don't want anything to do with you people. Please don't kill me again. Oh, uh, not a TP out. Ember not quite able to catch him there. The problem is still that they don't have any way to kill the Ember Spirit. And in the meantime, they've been able to find themselves an Earthshaker. Uh, jump up onto the high ground, blade mail, and suddenly Robo Z can't do anything. And now they're thinking about chasing him even further. Nada, well, is Robo Z there on top of him? He ends up popping out those. A quick little jump here. Actually, I, I think that Nature's Prophet's dead as well. Clockwork is too freaking big. I don't stand a chance. The lion has a gem. Roche is theirs whenever they want it. This game is over. I I don't think that there is a way if we see the Dyer play this out properly that they can win. Like I, I think the infamous youth is probably out of this game as long as SG play this properly. This is not the way that you play it properly. Getting silent, stunned. Can they get there in time to play for the catch? They caught him. Oh, a thousand gold into the coffers of the Sven. It's what they needed in a bad way, but can they fight a second time through now? Can they take the secondary engagement? Lion is there, has a hex available, but no finger of death. Might be a little bit too scary. The clockwork and a jump forward, been able to find himself an Earthshaker. Great way to stop this. Blade Mill comes out as well, but now they have the Bloodseeker. Angry as all get up. They've been able to catch him. That's the black cooldown, not a no answer. And two are now dead. A hex to follow. There it goes. A little bit of a pause, a disconnect, an XD in a sec. 
What in good God is happening in this garbage bag of a game? Lordy, lordy, lordy. This is terrible. <laughs> this is the worst thing ever. <laughs> this is god awful. Enigma agrees with me. I mean, the thing about this that's so tough is that the game in general, like, it's just the constant pauses. Like, I, I don't want to say anything to disparage the players here because it's not necessarily completely their fault. Um,. There's a million and ten things that could be going on. We don't know the specifics of the situation, but I think that we, everybody, can agree that they need detection and that this sucks. <laughs> oh, lordy, lordy. герой. <laughs> the team speak for themselves. The other nice thing is that if this is ping related, at least it's both teams that are having and experiencing issues. Um, obviously it's a Brazilian and a Peruvian squad, so there's some questions there as to which actual yeah, server yeah, yeah. it's on, but by and large, it's not like you're playing one team with like 20 ping and the other one with you know, 200 or something. It, it, both teams are not going to have great ping. So that is a, a bit of an issue. Man. 9 to 36. This is terrible. Well, I hope that you guys have been enjoying the Dota. I'll take this time to remind everybody about what else is going on with the rest of the Star Ladder I League invitational matches that are happening. We have more Dota that's going to take place almost immediately after this, if I'm not mistaken. Let me double check when it actually starts. Uh, two hours and 53 minutes from right now. It's TNC versus Boom ID, and then Fire Dragoon versus Fnatic, which starts six hours and 23 ranks. minutes. Uh, so that's Southeast Asia Dota that's gonna continue on a little bit later on tonight. And then tomorrow, I'm gonna be back again bright and early uh, at eight o'clock in the morning, where we're gonna be taking a look at Gambit Esports versus Na'Vi the debut of the new Navi squad, and we're also going to find out who is the rest of the teammates from the old Team Empire, as they are going to take place uh, a battle between them and Hakoche. I'm looking at this right now, and it's actually 10 hours from right now exactly when I'm casting again. So as soon as this game is over, I'm going to sleep, because I've been casting for 14 hours at this point. And it's time to go to bed. We're hanging out. It's a good time, though. I have to whoa, say that there's whoa. sort of this nice little thing that occurs. You have, like, sort of uh, peaks and troughs within a casting uh, day where you are really fresh at the beginning. You're excited. You have a lot of energy. Uh, and then it sort of tapers off after, you know, a couple of hours. And then it picks back up as you go into a little bit of delirium. And then it drops way off. And then it comes back up again. Uh very 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 quickly um i go to bathroom okay <laughs> no head shake uh it, it it comes back up to like absolutely awesome status again when you like lose all inhibitions and um and just say whatever comes to your mind sort of like play all right let's see what these guys have to say here they're probably going to take a little while. So we have some time. We're going to hang out. We're having a good old time here. Bathroom. Okay. XD. BRB. No. Head shake. Head shake. 
Kill me. You will take forever. No, I fast. Really? Carrot face? C. Carrot face? XD. Angry face? Muscles. 4DR fell asleep while taking a dump. Exasperated invoker. Alright, let's read what chat has to say. Uh, do you guys realize we started this series almost four hours ago? Oh, no. Rip infamous betters Bible thump. I'll go ahead and blame admin. I don't know. Admins, again, like... Uh, I, I think the biggest thing about this is... There are so many games that need to be played, so many games that need to be admined, and there's only so many admins in the scene right now that it really is going to start to pile on for a lot of them. And um, same type of thing with casters. There's just so much games to be casted, so much games to be viewed. It's tough. No admin in SA Dota game, Kappa. This is Team Infamous. It's Infamous Youth. Storm just raged. Why is Enigma the highest value player? I just joined the game. Uh, Enigma has a Midas that she got real early, and he also has the cooldown reduction. So he's been Midasing up a storm. Quality SA Dota. Uh, why? Why do they pause so much? Because there's no admin. Why must they behave like this? Uh, early Midas and Towers because gold talent actually is like that. They play in Brazil server proving get 200 ping there. Okay. Uh, it's not 200 ping in Brazil servers. Chat, I love you. Lies Peruvians have 80 ping in Brazil. SA too much heat. Peruvians get like 90 ping on Brazil servers. Don't mind me just taking my nap. Resident sleeper on both sides. Wonderful by Dino XP. Uh, paused and enjoying Dota. WKWKW. I wonder what the inside of Lena's nose looks like. It's an odd obsession to have. Mr. Rose Pony. That's a nice name, though. I like Rose Pony. It's a good name. He didn't take the GPM talent. Wrecked. Uh, don't sleep yet. There's more games coming. Red Eye. 200 ping. What the fuck? Caribbeans get 80, 90 ping to Brazil server, dude. I, I don't have uh, an absolute authority on this. I'm not really sure what it is. Who is Navi Tier 3 team? No. Ten hours from now, Resident Sleeper. Oh my god, lol. Who is going to cast for TNC? I don't know who's going to cast, actually. Uh, last night, I believe it was Zyklops, but I'm not positive if that's going to be the case. Uh, sometimes Hades jumps on and does it. Uh, kind of have to wait and see. I think that Dragon wow. Drop was casting some Southeast Asian games for the PGL minor. Lyrica, I met you a lovely wife at Gameworks during TI. You were a big part of making my TI7 experience Whoa. enjoyable. I'm so glad. Poop naked, yeah. I'm so glad that I could uh, help you in some way with that. Um, I met a, a, only a couple people at GameWorks. I'm not sure. You should tell me where we met, and we'll see if I remember. I'm sure I did. Um, and there are a couple people that I said, give me a shout-out when you get back to Twitch chat. Lyrical losing sanity. Nah. Sorry. And then what's that? Optimize Prime? I don't know what that emote is. Whoops, then. Didn't check. Just assumed. SG Esports is love. Lol. E-Man says something that I'm not sure is true. Uh, this chat failfish. Everybody get jubated. Players actually take turns to take naps. That would be really sad. Storm Spirit's back. Holy shit. Oh, we did it. We're doing it. It's happening. Oh, please. Carrot face. We're on it. Make it happen. My dreams come true. The game is literally about to be over. And triple kill. Wonderful. Follow me. Four heroes dead. No buyback for any of them. And the creep wave is going to pressure forward. Nada wants to get some split pushing going. But he can be soloed by the lion right now, who is four <laughs> levels ahead of him. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's really bad. Shakiro is level 9. Top tower He's is almost attack. got his XP gain talent. Oh, jeez. Let's see if they can solo him. He almost was going to get into that finger of death talent. Oh, God. If he did that, he ended up building into an Aghanim Scepter. All right. Nada. Yeah, that is a, that is a problem. 
That is a problem. Oh, TP away. Oh, get out. Run. Don't get him. That's Earthshaker, who is looking to make his escape. They realize that Nina Pola might be back here. Can they run into him? TP out. And he is safe. Oh no, not a, not like this, not like this. All right, they don't have a, a section. He's fine. Aha! Uh -huh, blink, BKB. Meanwhile, the Bloodseeker has been able to finish off his eye of Scotty, and the bullying continues. Oh, Storm Spirit, you need to get out of there quick. Good heads up play. That would have been a quick kill. Down bottom. Honestly, I really believe at this point that if they wanted to, uh, SG could just run at their base. And that looks like it's going to happen now. Push back on the cogs. There's the rupture. They find that. Oh, good blink away. All right. A beginning of a ruination, possibly. But Sven is dead, so it might not matter. They take down the Jakiro as well. Black Hole is down. They have a buyback on Sven if they wanted to use it. But actually, he does have BKB and God Strength. Okay, okay, okay. Nino Pollo there as well. Looking for an opening. Has that Echo Slam available? Jump catches it. No! No, Earthshaker, it was not meant to be. Oh, and does he have the finger? It doesn't matter. Haha ha, finds the kill. Oh, it's painful. Nature's Prophet is dead as well. They're all falling apart. There's no more life left in this game. This is the best thing right here that's happened for infamous youth in the past seven minutes. Lockwork is stuck on a cliff. This is literally it. Jakiro got the XP talent. Let's go. Lion now level 20. Definitely one for the finger. Stupendous. Damage talent. SG not wanting to throw away their advantage. Not wanting to throw away the lead they got. They're playing it safe. I mean, there is a world... If SG just like completely, I mean, the fact of the matter is that SG's actually had some trouble connecting to the server. If they like, if they end up disconnecting with their players, uh, then maybe Infamous could win this game. And if that happens, they really only have themselves to blame. Wow! Because I think they've had numerous opportunities to end this game. of invisibility. Well, Nada is going to try and get some split push going here as Victoria looking for an opening. Shadow, or rather Invis Rune on the Ember. Jakiro again going to be that sacrificial lamb. Oh, and 9 for him. Clockwork is gone in. They have the blade mail as well. Nothing is going well right now. They, oh, okay. Fissure to break it out a little bit. Enigma, does he end up finding a black hole is down? And that is going to indeed be the death of the Storm Spirit. Has buyback. Does he want to use it? Does he have to use it? That's really the better question. Well, not a... He's going for the split push route. They still haven't forced the buyback on the storm yet. Mail storm for the ember. Enigma's getting close to his level 25 talent. Ember. Not going to find Nada, it looks like. Oh no. Oh no. He doesn't have mana for the finger of death. But he has enough right clicks that it doesn't end up mattering. You feed 
the flayed twins. Oh. Ember doesn't quite have his level 25. Actually, none of them do. So, again, Radiance another power stake for attack. the Dire, as if they didn't uh, already have enough. Radiance top tower has fallen. Storm Spirit, unfortunately, is going to be killed there. They don't quite connect there onto the Ember. They jump board. Big old bash. Big old hit. The damage is coming. They take down the Aegis. Give him some more. All oh, Sven is in there. He finds the kill. Double for him. Can they get any more? Run away from Enigma. Black co op cooldown. The silence is going to come out, but it's not there in time. And now Sven dialing up for round two. Give him the big bad hit. The big bad crits. Triple for the Sven. And a hell of a lot of damage. Oh, shit. We have a game on our hands. Okay, okay. 4,000 gold swing. Storm Spirit, again, going in. Wanted the plays to happen, but now he's out of mana. All right, they have almost, <laughs> they've increased their kill percentage by 50% <laughs> with those kills. Still almost a 30,000 net worth lead. It's around like a 12,000 experience shift. Jakiro went up to level 15. He double, uh, he's also increased 50% in terms of his levels. How is this a thing? Apparently guys, Sven does a lot of damage. Ada trying to escape from this one. He is going to be able to get out of there. Nice play. Does he end up falling? Looks like the answer is yes. Unfortunate, but clockwork will be the one that ends up going down there. All right, Bloodseeker is now level 25. What talent did he go? He went for the minus seven second blood rate cooldown. You know, there have actually been bigger comebacks than this in the history of Dota. It, it would, like, make my brain melt inside of its head and dribble out my ears if somehow infamous youth were able to win this game. But it's not impossible. Dyer's top tower is under attack. It's not impossible. Radiant Buyback status right now. Radiant have it on Earthshaker. Dire only have it on the Clockwork and the Enigma. Rock it on. Stupendous. Lion in the meantime. I mean, at least he kept on building real items. Um, they have, definitely have the burst potential. And they know what they need to do for Dyer's infamous youth. Just keep on trying to go for a split push around the rest of the map. Dyer's They're incredibly mobile. Has fallen. But the Radiant's macro pyre laid down now. <laughs> Jakiro is just gonna get blade mailed by the clockwork or a shaker, maybe in a little bit of trouble. The fissure comes out, breaks the flame guard, jump forward, forces a BKB. All right, Glyph is there as well. This is the beginning. This is something that can work. This is not terrible. Confirmed, not terrible. In the meantime, Nada took the tier one, tier two tower in the top lane. Victoria could be looking for an opening here. It's a shadow amulet that came out because he disassembled his glimmer cape. The plays are real, but they don't find that opening. They didn't find the storm. They couldn't click on him quick enough. They jump forward, able to find again onto one. Storm still playing it a little bit too close to the chest. In the meantime, this nature's prophet is getting the swim push working. I hesitate to call it a comeback because still I don't believe that it's. The seeds are for. It sh I don't believe it should be possible, but it is. There's a seven second BKB on Sven. Like I. Oh. 
Radiant's bottom shrine is under attack. I don't know. This is some craziness, that's for sure. Taking the bounty runes, wanting to build into BKB for himself. Nada is on the mark. I mean, this is really the problem with SG lineup is you don't really have great ways to hit towers. They're going for this melee barracks. Jakiro has the ice path. He can land it onto two right now if he wants to. And now they have an Ags on Storm as well. So suddenly the Lincolns doesn't actually matter anymore. This could be a huge moment right here if they can manage to find a big opening and they wanted it right there for Sven. But they can't go for it. Honestly, right now, I think this game is somewhat winnable for Radiant. As crazy as that sounds. is under attack. Just because of the damage that Sven deals. Like, there's there's not really a great way to deal with that. That being said, if you find pickoffs like this, this really hurts. And right now, NP does not have buyback. Storm Spirit jumps into all of it. They're just going to black hole him. And just like that, any advantage that they might have had thrown away. 90 seconds, no Storm. If you are SG Esports, you want to go and end the game right now. Roshan has the potential to respawn in 15 seconds. Maybe they just wait for that. I, I still think it's a little bit scary to do that. They've shown on the Radiant that they can take these fights. And Sven is going to get into his level 25, 65 damage talent as well. Yeah, they're, they don't want to mess around too much here. Rosh is going to respawn in 2 and minutes and 15 seconds. Meanwhile, Jakiro is going to take some damage from himself. But the creeps are still going to die. Well, there's still a way. There's still a possibility. Radiant's top shrine is under attack. And at this point, Mega Creeps, they matter, but they matter much less. Hero, not going to get caught there by the chains. Can lay out an ice path if he wants to. But you kind of also want to wait on that one. Enigma, black hole back up in 23 seconds. There's going to be the triple remnant forward, four staff away. Saving a life. Look at all the Eidolons from that talent coming in from Enigma. That's how you see tower, all right. Look at it go. There's so much damage. I actually don't have an answer for that. Besides Sven jumping in, and he obviously doesn't want to do that. Because of the counterplay potential. So Storm Ags, all they need is one big team fight. And it can come by virtue of all of these heroes. There's the jump board. No, he ran into the cops. The black hole comes out. He's going to connect on to three. No hope for salvation. Nada in trouble as well. Sven is going to jump forward, wants to take them down with a four staff to keep that little bit of separation. He does kill up one, but there's going to be the Repressor Black Hole. And now, most assuredly, the Dire are going to finish the game. What could have been done very long ago is finally completed here. And SG Esports is going to finish it off. Oh, God damn. What a game. What a series. What a day. We watched some Dota 2 here, everybody. I hope that you guys enjoyed the broadcast. Um, I'm going to sign off now. 0-12 on the Nature's Prophet. 0-10 on the Jakiro. But perhaps more importantly, it was this lion who was 0-5 and 37. He had a hell of a game. I think that lion to me was the most impressive player on SG Esports today. Uh, hope to see more from them in the future. Really great stuff. Again, as a last reminder, tomorrow we're going to continue the coverage of CIS qualifiers. Southeast Asia stuff should be con uh, continuing uh, in about two and a half hours, if I'm not mistaken. CIS Dota is going to start nine and a half hours from this moment, uh, where we're going to see Gambit Esports versus Navi, and then... Hakoche facing off against Team Empire. And then we'll be back again for more action from South America where the main infamous squad will face off against Mad Kings. And Fuera Joven is going to be facing off against Digital Chaos South America. I've been Lyrical. My broadcasters throughout the day for CIS earlier were Aosin, 
And then I had Ryu throughout most of this, with the exception of this last game. Um, if you guys want to, give us a follow on Twitter, at Lyrical Dota, at Aosin Dota, and at Ryu Dota. Um, as well as following us on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Lyrical Dota, twitch.tv slash Aosin Trash, and twitch.tv slash Ryu Dota. Um, yeah, that's going to do it for us. Have a great day. Go play some Dota. Go watch some Dota. And I will see you all tomorrow. Adios.